Hello guys. So today uh, we are trying to uh, give a proof that we already did for the first two is we prove the zeta two and zeta for uh, these values. So today we want to prove this fact. One over n to the six powers. And the result is pi to the six over nine hundred forty five. And uh, if you go to a Wikipedia, then you can see that Wikipedia have a similar, as a, exactly the same results. Okay, but we want to prove it without using calculus. Right? We only want to use these two facts, zeta 2 and zeta 4. Suppose we already know these two values, then we want to compute this. Right? So, the, so the goal is we want to compute this just by from these two. And uh, without using Calculus, for analysis, tire expansion. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so the similar technology, uh, singular, uh, similar technologies that we can define FMN to be uh, just like before, and we two, uh, two over m to the m to the fifth power and times n once one over fourth n square and uh, 1 over square and uh, 1 over m square and 2 fourths and 2 over m and 2 fourths. Okay, so the standard approach is that we need to calculate this, uh, this quantity. So, what's going on? So it collapsed. Oh. Okay, so let me quickly uh, recover it. Okay, so this is what we want to compute. Okay, and the standard approach is that we calculate this object. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, so you can use Mathematica that, that that to compute. Right? Suppose you have this function, and you calculate it by Mathematica, then you get the answer is this. Uh, it's 2 times m squared plus n squared over m, m to the fourth and n to the fourth. Okay, so let me write down. So we get 2 to the m squared times uh, plus n squared, m to the fourth, n to the fourth. Uh, so we can write it as 2 to the m squared, n to the fourth, and uh, 2 over m to the fourth, n to the two. Okay, and a similar argument say that uh, suppose we sum over m from zero, uh, 1 to infinity and to infinity, and uh, then the left hand side, right? so basically I will write it down. It's basically the same as we proved the, the, the zeta form. So this term will become like. Don't worry, it's somewhat complicated. So this is the first term, and the second term is similar, as uh, exactly the same as the first term, so which times two. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, oh this is the previous right, right, because it's too large. Okay, so from, so as we talked before, this just as only sum of the diagonal term, right? So anyway, it's from one to infinity, F and N. It equals to four times, zeta 2 and uh, zeta 4. And uh, what, uh, so what is this term, right? So this term basically we can try to, uh, we can go back to see our, when m equals to n, so when m equals to n, all of these terms will be the same. So we have 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. So we have 7 minus n to the q, uh, n to the 6 powers. Right, so now we have Summation n equals 0 from six, uh, infinity n to the 6 uh, 
a wall runs a six equals to but uh, there is a seven, right? Seven equals to zeta two, I see. Yeah. Okay, so that means let me let's do compute. So we have four times six pi square, uh pi f to the fourth or ninety, and then divided by seven. Uh so what is this? We guys we got compute. So two over uh forty-five, so we get pi to the six and the three times forty-five times seven. And then if you ca uh, compute it carefully, you had you got twenty-one times forty-five, and you get by let me let me compute it carefully. Twenty-one forty-five. Okay, so sorry, I miss miss I miss right. so five times four I okay so if you calculate carefully it's nine hundred forty five so pi to the six over nine hundred forty five ah sorry for some mistake but uh, so one now one over n to the six and it goes from the one to zero uh, from one to the infinity is pi to the six over nine hundred forty five so this is our first uh, our result. Okay, so basically, uh, use this method. We don't have to use the calculus and the uh, entire function. And you can check that you can extend this method to go to compute a higher, higher order like zeta eight and zeta ten. But it's very, very complicated. So, uh, so uh, next time we will show that the entire proof that uh, one can get just get get the zeta function at the even positive integer values. So hope to see you guys in the next video and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and I will try to uh, provide more uh, good quality stuff uh, for you guys. Thanks.